Hey everybody, Chris here, coming to show you some more yard sale, thrift store, and uh, flea market finds. So, um, it's been a little while since my last video. I went on vacation, went over to Italy, had a pretty good time. Um, so, some, a few of these things are from before that, and a few of these are from after. But uh, I had a couple decent weekends uh, yard selling since I got back. And uh, a lot of the stuff's already sold, so what's not here is uh, picked up a copy of Pokemon Blue. For 28 bucks, that came with uh, this little guy. This is a Digimon figure. Should get about five, ten bucks for him. Pokemon Blue is already sold. That sold for over 50. Um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, which I'd be very surprised if you weren't, uh, there's a game called Pokemon Go out right now for um, for phone, and uh, it's uh, it's made the made a lot of Pokemon stuff. Uh, spike in price, so it's also made a bunch of uh, Game Boys go up in price. So I'll show you this over here. I picked up a Game Boy Advance SP. I also picked up uh, another a red one, and then two uh, two DS lights, as well as um, Diddy Kong Racing DS, which uh, I think all of that ended up being sold. So I sold the Game Boy Advance SP, the red one, for eighty dollars. Um, this one I expect to get about the same, maybe more, because it's in the original box. And uh, generally, SPs go for around 50. And uh, Game Boy Colors is spiking in price. I've been selling tons of these as well, link cables. Uh, I bought one of these for a dollar at a flea market. It came with a case that was all messed up, though. I threw that out. Yeah, so if you find Pokemon stuff, look it up, because uh, it goes for a decent price. Um, this is the only actual Pokemon thing I have left. I had a bunch of other Pokemon games that are also sold. Um, but just a case for a Game Boy. Um, this one's a little buried in Amazon, so it's kind of hard to find. But I uh, should get about uh, like about 12 bucks for that. Um, came with the DS Lite and the SPs. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you find Pokemon stuff right now, um, I recommend selling it. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's get around to everything else. So over here, this is uh, sort of a random find for me. Um, Polaroid, it's a 55 film. Uh, it's the I think it's the big ones. Um, I've uh, never found this before. It's super expired, but um, people will buy this. I think uh, ones that expired the latest look like a sealed box can go for 150, 200 bucks. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get for this. It expired in the 90s, so I don't really expect to get much. You know, even 20 bucks would be great. I paid $3. Um, got a couple Maxell tapes. Um, Selling a lot of these lately. Um, these are the XL2 S. Um, you know, not too much. I paid a dollar for them. I'll probably make 10 bucks between the two, maybe a little more. Um, got a Sony portable DVD player. Paid three dollars at a yard sale. Um, this model looks like it goes for about eighty, ninety dollars. Uh, Sony Sports um, CD player. I think I got this at Savers. It's probably like four or five bucks. This one's only about twenty-five, thirty. A lot. A lot of the sports players go for around fifty. And then um, a little Sony cassette player, which I think goes for about fifteen. Um, come over here to the Polaroids. Got a one-step close-up. Um, uh, came in a case, and uh, I think I paid like four dollars for it at uh, the flea market. Then I got a Polaroid uh, SX70 Land camera, one of those really nice ones. They usually sell for about 125 bucks. Um, they're starting to pile up. I've, I'm surprised I've been finding so many lately. Um, got a Polaroid Sun, which has gone down quite a bit in price recently. Uh, that came with the a Wii system and some other stuff. Paid twenty bucks. Hopefully, I'll get about thirty still. I uh, got a Polaroid One Step. I, I paid a dollar at a yard sale for that, and then a Polaroid One Step Six Hundred, um, the kind with the flash bar. Um, the bottom of the box is kind of messed up, so I'm not going to lift it up. But that's already sold for over fifty dollars because of the box, and uh, I listed that. I don't know. 40 minutes ago. Show you over here. I got an N64 in the box. I paid 20 bucks. Came with a few of these games. Came with two extra controllers. Didn't come with the purple controller on the box. 
But um, system worked great. Uh, came with the RF cable that the guy doesn't think works. I didn't try it out because it also came with the AV cable. You should get uh, like over 80 for that because of the box. I'm hoping 85, 90. Um, we'll, we'll find out. Um, generally, an N64 I think goes for about 45 right now with with or without a controller. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Um, got a few board games. I'll start at the bottom. Got hotels. I think I got that for 2.99. Savers. Last copy I sold was for 80. Got Risk 2210 AD in the bigger box. Um, usually it's a box that goes to about here, but um, I think this was the first printing. Uh, this doesn't go for too much. This is one of those things I pick up definitely for FBA. Um, that uh, that probably 25 30 dollars after I send it in. Got uh, another copy of Axis and Allies Revised Edition. Just sold a copy for that for 60 I think, on um, on Amazon. And then a uh, copy of Big Box Diplomacy. Which last time I had one of those sold for 100 I think this one will sell just about the same price. Everything's unused. Everything's still sealed inside. Same thing for Axis and Allies. It looks like they took it they opened it up and they just gave up immediately. Behind that we have baseball, uh, Superstar Baseball. It's um, either Avalon Hill or 3M. Generally the sports Avalon Hill games do pretty well. This one, um, this one's on the lower end though, but I think I'll probably at least get about 25 30 for that. And then on top of that is Sleuth. It's a game at, um, 3M game at. It's just a smaller version. Um, I've had the regular version of Sleuth forever. It's never sold. I only picked it up. Uh, I picked up the Wii and the Polaroid camera. Um, I think it cost me a dollar fifty. Got a couple PS2s. Paid twenty dollars for one, fifteen for the other. Then I got um, a Wii there, which I mentioned. Uh, came with the Polaroid camera. Came with a few of these games. Was twenty dollars on that. That's already sold for fifty. Just the Wii with uh, it had wires and all that, but. Um, they're already away. And then uh, we'll get to these couple of stacks of games. Um, I paid $30 for a good hunk of it's these Super Nintendo games, some of these Genesis games, and um, a couple of these NES games. But um, yeah, I'll show you. these three N64 games came with the box uh, GoldenEye, uh, World is Not Enough, and Mario Kart, which that's 50 bucks on its own. Um, and then all these, I got the flea market, um, The Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare, uh, Star Trek, uh, Starship Bridge Simulator, or uh, Starfleet Academy, it's kind of mixed on what's actually called, but um, uh, Spider-Man, the animated series game, um, so Bart is about 20, I think Star Trek is about 15, 20. I think Spider-Man's about 20 as well. Uh, then I got X-Men, uh, Donald Duck, uh, Quackshot, Mortal Kombat. Um, all those are about, about 10. I'm not really sure about Donald, actually. And then over here, uh, Wii Fit was inside the Wii. It's under 2 bucks. Um, got a copy of Wii Sports at the Wii. It goes for about 11, 12 bucks right now. Got a copy of Wii Sports um, somewhere else. I don't even remember. Paid thirty bucks, I think, for four of these Mario games. Uh, yeah, so Super Mario Three, uh, Mario Duck Hunt, Super Mario Two, and then I believe um, Standalone Super Mario Bros, which will go for about twenty twenty five. And um, yeah, you know, paid paid a little more than I'd like. But um, still worth picking up the price. And then um, these are some of those other games that I said I paid 34 Tetris, uh, Mario Duck Hunt, another copy of Mario Duck Hunt. And then um, these I found at a yard sale. I actually asked the guy about it. And he just kept going in and coming out with like one game at a time. Uh, I paid $30 um, for three games. But um, Beetlejuice, which will go for about 15 Hunt for Red October with part of the box. That's only about like, I don't know, maybe four bucks on that. And then um, Ultima Warriors of Destiny. Like, complete in the box. 
Uh, cart only goes for about forty or fifty dollars. Um, uh, everything's in here, great condition. Box has like only a little bit of edge wear. Uh, the cart looks great. I'm hoping anywhere from eighty to like a hundred and ten, hundred twenty, hundred thirty, somewhere in there. Yeah, so that was great. So thirty dollars for those three games. The PS2 I bought over there. I got Crash Bandicoot as well. I also got a copy of Dot Hack Infection, but it was so scratched that my PlayStation was asking me to put a PlayStation disc in it. Um, so it did not work. Uh, I got Simpsons Hit and Run for five bucks at a yard sale. I got a sealed copy of WWE 2K14 for a dollar at a yard sale. Uh, Just Dance 2, I think I picked up a Goodwill Outlet with um, just like some random Wii stuff. Band Hero, uh, I think I came with uh, like the Wii games or something. Uh, got a copy of Super Mario Galaxy from uh, that Wii lot. Got another copy of Super Mario Galaxy. Um, no, I don't really remember where that one came from. And then uh, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, oh yeah, I got those two together. I think that was like 10? Maybe, yeah, 10 bucks. This girl had a Wii. She had a mark to like a hundred and something dollars. And that was like the only thing worth picking up in there. And, uh, yeah, that was it. So, um, yeah, like decent. Uh, I'm expecting August to maybe be a bit better. I think, uh, the heat lately has made a f far less yard sales than usual. Um, I'm hoping August will cool down, which isn't typical of August, but hopefully... And then I think things will really pick up around September. And, uh, yeah. So, like, subscribe, comment, share. And, uh, I'll see everybody next week. Bye.